Welcome to Brayon Math. We have to solve this problem. We have a triangle which is divided into three smaller triangles. Inside this large right triangle are two right triangles, the green and the yellow and the blue. And the side length of this one leg of this biggest right triangle is 12. And inside is uh, the angle on the upper part is divided into two equal parts, alpha and alpha. And this angle are, these two angles are the angles of the yellow and the green triangle. And it is also given that the a part of this hypotenuse of the largest right triangle is 15. And we are required to find the area of the blue triangle. Okay, so to find the area of this blue triangle, our goal, of course, is to find the length of this base of the blue triangle. And this blue and this height, this height. So if we find that two lengths, then it will be easy to find the area. And we will be, of course, finding the this lengths later to find the area related to this height because it is a this it is a the hypotenuse of this. Uh, vertical line or the height of this blue triangle so it is related so we will find this later okay so let us start in with this green triangle and this yellow triangle so as you can see these two triangles are right triangles and are similar because of this they have the common angle alpha and if one of the angles inside these two tri these two triangles are alpha, then this angle is 90 minus alpha, and this is also 90 minus alpha, and therefore these two triangles are actually similar. Okay, they are similar because of angle, angle, angle congruence theorem, because three angles are. If three angles are congruent inside the two triangles that are proportional, then these two triangles are similar. Okay, so if you focus on this uh, yellow, if we label this length as x, so that will be the adjacent side x over the hypotenuse for the yellow it is equal to 12 over x x will be the hypotenuse for the green okay so it's just the adjacent over the hypotenuse for the yellow so x over 15 and 12 over x for the green adjacent side over the hypotenuse being x for the green triangle okay so simplifying we have x square is equal to 15 times 12 which is uh, 15 and 12 so 50 12 can be broken down into 4 times 3 and 15 can be broken down into 5 times 3 so if we take the square root of both sides, we have this. The square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of 3 square is 3. So 2 times 3 becomes 6 outside of the radical sign. And this, we have 5 remaining inside. So x is equal to 6 square root of 5. Okay. So since we know that value of the hypotenuse for the green and this longer leg of the green is 12. So it is best that we find this length. 
So let us call this as a. So we will find this length because we need to find the uh, ratio of the lengths of these two rectangles. And the ratio are some are of course proportional because they are similar triangles. Okay, so so a is equal to the square root of six square root of five square and we subtract this twelve square. So a is equal to the square root of this becomes one hundred eighty. Minus 144. So A is equal to the square root of 36. Or A is simply 6 units. Okay, so the sides of the green triangle is equal to 6, 12, and 6 square root of 5. And if we divide all of this by 6, the ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to square root of 5. Okay, so now we can already apply this ratio. 1 is to 2 is to square root of 5 for this yellow triangle. So if the uh, longer leg is 6 square root of 5, then we just need to divide this by 2. So this 6 square root of 5 becomes 3 square root of 5. Since they are similar, and therefore, of course, they should have the same ratio. Okay, so now if we draw a line from this point downwards, and next is we focus on the angles inside this uh, triangle. Okay, so it is given that if we focus on this green triangle, this is 90 minus alpha because they should be complementary angles, the two remaining aside from this 90 degree angle. So this also is should be 90 minus alpha. And since this is 90 degrees, if you look at the yellow, the 90 degree angle, this angle, if you subtract all these two angles, 90 and 90 minus alpha, from 180, it will be alpha. So to check, if you add this, these two, uh, these three triangles, it will add up to 180 degrees. 90 minus alpha, this can, then plus alpha, this cancels out, then you add the other 90 then they will become 180 degrees. And if this is alpha on this part of this triangle, this becomes 90 minus alpha. Okay, so next is we focus on this uh, largest right triangle. The combination of the yellow and the green the angle is 2 alpha and that is the one angle of this largest right triangle so if that is 2 alpha then this should be 90 minus 2 alpha this is 90 minus 2 alpha and this should be a complement so this should be 2 alpha. Okay, so if you fo the next if we will focus on this triangle, this triangle has the three angles alpha and 90 minus alpha. So this has the same ratio as the green and the yellow. So if the hypotenuse is 3 square root of 5, then the leg opposite, opposite the 90 minus alpha is actually you need to divide this by square root of 5 and multiply it by 2 so you have 6 and for the other leg you just need to divide this by 2 so you will have 
the value of three units. So let us write three for the this length. So this will be the height. Okay, so next is we label unknown lengths and we label this as Z and this as B. Okay, so next is we find an equation to find these two values, these two lengths or the length Z is already enough because if we find the length of Z, then we get the part of the base of this blue triangle and the and since we already know the height, then it is easy to find the area of the blue triangle. And we are actually need we do need to use similarity of the two triangles. This we need to compare this triangle to the biggest triangle to the largest. So we can actually use the similarity. So if we use this link, uh, if we start on the largest triangle, so we have well over the base, the height over the base, so we have 12 over the base, which is 6 plus 6 plus z, 6 plus 6 plus z. And for this smaller triangle with the star label, it is simply 3 over z so we have 12 over 12 plus z is equal to 3 over z so we have 12 z is equal to 12 times 3 3 times 12 plus z so that will be 3 times 12 plus z so we have 12 z is equal to 36 plus 3z and if we put this 3z to the left hand side we have 9z and we have this 36 so z is equal to 4 Okay, so for the final step, since we know this base and the height, so the base is actually 6 plus 4, it becomes 10, and the height is 3, so the area is simply 1 half times the base, which is 10, and the height, which is 3. So we can cancel this, we have 5. So area is equal to 15 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.